First, you need to create another partition. You can property on your computer and go to disk management. And then you can pick the drive that has the bigger size. And then you can click on string. And after that, you can see an allocated drive. And then you can right click on it. And then you can click on new simple volume and hit on next. And as soon as later, you can see another drive pop up. And now you can see the new drive here. So then you can go to your browser and you can navigate to GitHub link. So I also include the link in the description as well. And you can click on Asset and click on the Setup. So run the Setup. And then hit on Next. And then you can download the file here. So it may take some time. So you need the faster internet. And after you download, you can see the page pop up here. So you can choose like I did here. So but for the drive, you can choose the drive that you have just created. And for the password, you can use your own. But for me, I use 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And after that, you can click on install. And after that, it will ask you to reboot. You can check on reboot now. And while you are reboot, you can hold on the shift key to go to boot device option. You can select Ubuntu. And then it will boot to Ubuntu system. The installation may take some time to finish it. So all you have to do is waiting patiently. So for me, it took me about 15 to 25 minutes. And after installation, it will reboot automatically. So make sure you hold on the shift key again. And then you can choose Ubuntu to go into that system. And then you will see the login screen. You can type in your password. So for me, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And then I can hit on login. And now you are on the desktop of Ubuntu, so make sure your computer is connected to the internet. And then you can go to browser and you can go to Rainstorm website again, so you can And then this time you need to download rainstorm.run
and after download you need to place it on the desktop so you can drag and drop the file into the desktop then you can go to terminal and on terminal you need to type cd space desktop and d should be capitalized and then hit on enter and then you can type sudo space bus space and then you need to drag and drop Rainstorm the run into the terminal and then hit on enter and then you can see Rainstorm page so to install and then click on next and click on get start and you need to remember that if your computer is support it will say com compatibility check pass and then for this step you need to wait about 15 minutes again and it depends on your internet as well And after the download is finished, it will ask you to boot into the Mac. So you can choose, you can click on next and then it will boot to your Mac. And now on the setup screen, you can choose the language and then click on the continue button. And before you can install, make sure you go to this utility and then hit on continue. And you need to erase the partition first. So you will see the two partitions that has the same names and that begin with QEMU so you need to choose the bigger size one so it for me it has 34 gigabyte so you can erase
and then you need to quit this utility and then select on reinstall mac os and then hit on continue And then it will ask you to select the partition, so select the one that you have just erased. And now for this step, while it is downloading, you need to connect to the internet. It may take a lot of time, so the size is about 8GB.